Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman and I'd like to introduce you to this device here. This is the Next by Cinemartin. Now, looking at it here, what do you see? Well, you see a monitor on the back of the camera, uh, a very bright one actually, because there's no screen, there's no shade on this, and it is quite a bright day today. We're outdoors, so a nice bright display. And we have some video inputs here on the side, so you can probably guess that this is a video recorder. But actually, this is much more than just a video recorder, because if I turn this around here, you'll see that on the side, we have some 3.5 millimeter jacks, some USB 3 ports, some network connectors, and some display port connectors, because in fact, what this is, is a computer. It's low power, consumes about 24 watts, so not much more than most monitors or most video recorders, and it can do many, many things. One of its primary roles is to record video in exceptionally high quality. I'm just quickly looking at the video recording options. You'll see here that we can record in HD, we can record in 4K at up to 444, 10-bit, uncompressed RGB if we want, and we can even record in standard definition as well. So lots of recording options with the unit. There is HDMI, it's here. Uh, on the back of the recorder. So you have HDMI in and HDMI out. And again, that's 4K ready. So if you're using a camera like Sony's FS7 or an A7S, you can go into this in 4K and record uncompressed 4K. So really, really high quality images. Now, being a computer, it means that this can do so much more than most recorders that you can get for these types of video cameras. And just an idea of the kinds of things that you can do, you start thinking about when you have a computer instead of a video recorder, is things like live streaming. I could install some streaming software on here uh, in terms of operating systems. You can run Windows, you can run Linux, uh, you can run virtually any operating system that you want on this little computer. And then with the right software, we could stream, so we could stream live. We could do on-set color correction and color grading. So a really good tool for a DIT. And because we have all this extra connectivity here on the side with the USBs and everything else, we could use it as a transfer station to transfer footage, maybe from the cards that I'm using in the camera to some external USB 3 drives or external RAID array, anything like that. I can plug it into a network. I can share my footage over a network very easily, very quickly. I could transcode my footage to different file sizes if I need to give uh, content off to a client at the end of the day, perhaps. Now, one of the things you can do with this is while you're recording is there is a background application that we can run on this uh, right here. And this is a background transcoding package that comes with this, and this will transcode the files that it finds in my masters folder. You can set whichever folder you want and it's transcoding them right now to ProRes. So I'm recording uncompressed. So I have amazing quality uncompressed footage, but then in the background, that uncompressed footage is being transcoded to ProRes really quickly in the background. And because it's a computer, of course, if I decide I don't want to file, if there's something in my clips that I no longer need, I can go to my uh, videos folder here where my videos are stored here in my master clips and I can choose the clips and I could play it back. I could delete it. I can do pretty much anything I want with that clip. So it really is a very powerful uh, little workstation that you can do so many different things with. Um, just as an idea of one of the sort of things that you can do with this, I've been shooting some footage here out in this field, out in the lovely countryside here, beautiful spring day. And if I come out, at the moment I'm in the live capture application that comes with the device. If I uh, just quit out of this live capture application, I can start Adobe Premiere here. This is the ordinary Adobe Premiere CC that uh, you can get on your workstation, your computer and your edit suite. And we'll just start a new project and just click OK. And I could now actually edit the footage that I've just been shooting here on this device right here, right now. I don't need anything else. 
I can do it with this little stylus. It is a touch screen. I could use my fingers. I do find it'll be easier to use a stylus. And I have all the power, all the functionality and all the features of a fully fledged edit suite right here on the back of the camera. Um, a really interesting use for this would be news or current affairs. I could go out, I could shoot my news piece, record directly onto this, do the edit directly on this device, encode it to whatever's needed for my final output and export it straight from here. I have HDSDI out and HDMI out so I could plug it straight into my OB truck or my satellite link and uplink directly from this unit. So it really is a very interesting device. It's like nothing else quite on the market. It is a great recorder. You can record, as I say, high quality, uncompressed, all the way up to 4K internally on the internal solid state drive. You can plug in external drives if you need more storage to increase your storage. But as well as being a recorder, it is a very powerful computer, as powerful as most laptops that are currently on the market and it gives you that full editing, encoding, streaming, grading capability right here on the back of the camera. So it's the, called the Next by Cine Martin. Price starts at around 2,000 euros, going up to about 4,000 euros, depending on the exact specification. And it is high spec, up to 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of internal storage. Uh, I, i7 multi-core CPU, so very, very powerful. If you want to know more about this device, well, please take a look at the Cinemartin website and the contact information will be down here right now. So please go and have a look at the Cinemartin website. If not, have a look at the second video that I've produced about this device, where I go into the finer details of its capabilities and take a look at just how far you can push this really quite surprising little device.